It's also a great personal day for me. I hit a very significant milestone, but uh, I won't spoil it. I don't know if I'm gonna share that milestone on Fabled Hunters or not. I wanted to just celebrate because sometimes you just gotta take a W. Welcome to Fabled Hunters. As I said in another video, it's a really good day today. It's an amazing day. I opened up uh, David E's uh, box one of the trade and uh, just lucky to not have G.I. Joe cards. I sleeved up everything. The empty packs are still here. The rares are still here. But the chase cards, they're already gone. Life is really about ups and downs and I wanted to take this moment just to recognize that. Like, even today, you know, I worked from home, worked on uh, bank deals that were in the millions on one hand, but then on the other side, I, you know, just heated up leftover Chinese food, you know? I'm up being an executive, going on some Zoom calls, you know, put on my work, my work sweater and whatnot. And then meanwhile, you know, I'm in my little uh, fuzzy slippers and my uh, $8 Puma sweatpants, but it, really is swingy and you really need to be just uh, resilient. You've got to persevere through all of the challenges that uh, life throws at you. What I'm celebrating today, I can say, was a journey 20 years in the making and um, it was reiterated. The people that watch Fabled Hunters when we were sub 1,000 members would know that there's a really rough time around, call it uh, 2014 to 2017, where there is a lot of uh, legal issues that I had to in encounter. I had a business partner at one of my uh, sizable business interests that embezzled millions of dollars. Pro tip, never let your person in charge of operations also handle the money. Like I know, some business people, some wealthy people are like, duh. But when you're just starting out, you really, you really don't realize that that's such a big conflict of interest. But I made that mistake. I paid dearly for it. I was fleeced out of millions of dollars. And then not only that, that individual, um, knowing the finances, because he handled the operations, so he knew how the business ran, handled the finances. He actually sued me for wire fraud. He sued me for conversion. Meanwhile, he was the one, you know, managing the books. And I just had to learn on the fly uh, so many things. I had to learn, you know, how much of a hard knock life it could be when you're on the receiving end of uh, theft and fraud and conversion, as well as, you know, seven figures and legal bills. That was also around the same time that I was uh, dealing with my father, who was, uh, you know, diagnosed with stage four lung cancer. He found out right when it was too late, and we didn't know how many months he had left, but uh, while the litigation was going on, the litigation preceded his diagnosis. The litigation actually even um, went past, you know, went past when my father expired. So uh, it was three and a half years of my father's struggle, law struggle against uh, lung cancer. And it was over three and a half years, almost four years of a litigation. And my father finally expired around, um, well, not finally, I, I appreciated every single day that I had with him, despite having so many differences early on, early days, but he expired. As a matter of fact, November 5th, in uh, 2018 and I had always uh, upon his expiration you know I looked around and realized that that battle was fought I had no regrets I spent as much time as I possibly could reasonably could I was a filial son as a matter of fact speaking of being filial I our camera woman big baby and I we we had our child and named her Philia because it was an act of filial piety because he was diagnosed. He did the um, 
Asian parent guilt thing. And, uh, you know, we, uh, you know, he's like, oh, I want to see a grandchild. And, uh, I mean, we love our daughter, but that's a very strong reason why we had her. So after his passing in 2018, you know, we were starting from not zero, but probably a negative seven figure position because the medical costs, the cost on my psyche, mental health, the cost of four years of, you know, civil litigation, having to borrow from private equity even to continue that litigation, overcoming that battle. By the way, I didn't, I don't think I ever said this in a different episode, but the other side, the jack off that stole the money, he was working at a very prestigious hedge fund at the beginning of the litigation. By the end of the litigation, he had lost his job. He currently is working at a glorified Remax as an office manager, replacing cups, you know, ordering the toilet paper when it runs out, placing orders when the uh, air conditioner is malfunctioning, for example. And meanwhile, I'm sitting here celebrating a goal. I said this was a goal 20 years in the making, but I told myself that I wanted to achieve this before the age of 50. I'm 42, so I'm, you know, almost 43, pretty, pretty damn close next month. So I am a little over seven years ahead of schedule. Cause, uh, you know, when, uh, my dad expired, I was like, I always wanted this. Now I know to a lot of people, it will seem like a brag and you know what? I, that might be an indefensible position. I'm not trying to defend it, but it's monumental to me because, you know, I've always figured that this was the most desired card in the world and it's globally recognized. And, um, well, let's, uh, let's get into it and see what the package holds. It's a nice, uh, stationery reminds me of, uh, LSS's, but now this Centurion is in copper. That has all the details. I guess the main part is this box have to talk to my team members about oh oh yep it is yet to be opened so they 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 got it mixed up they thought it was a corporate asset at work that's the box the centurion box all right all right all right all right it is fabled hunters we are gonna open some stuff so i started my relationship with these guys in 2003 it gave me a gold card i think i kept a good limit when I became a business owner, when I told, you know, a certain bank, JP Morgan, <coughs> to go F themselves, I um, hung my own shingle and uh, went into business. 2005, I got upgraded to the Platinum card. And uh, within a couple months of when, you know, after my father's struggle, we uh, cover this, <sighs> we put in a request to be considered in 2018 and this is me member since 2003 like i said it's finally here something about a qr code just in case don't want that to get wrongfully scanned we'll put this card to the side but oh, oh my god that is whew, 20 000 americans have access to this card and um Really, really happy, really, really fortunate, really blessed to have been considered. Centurion is more than a card, it's a way of life designed for distinguished members like you, those who break ground and impact the world in meaningful ways. Okay, blah, 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 we hope the card will bring a bit of extra joy to the everyday. Centurion style. Chairman and CEO of American Express. All right. I work with them, actually, so... Yeah, I've even... Got family in Amex. Ooh, okay, this is new. Below this letter, you will find your wearable card, the fruit of an exclusive partnership between Centurion and Prada. Prada challenged us to envision a wearable that is smarter and more elegant than anything previously imagined. 
The result, the Prada Centurion wearable. Made in Italy, Safiano leather. I know a certain person that likes Prada products. Let's take a look. Oh my God, this thing. Wow, this is this is literally it. This this box is a Prada box. Secret code. This we'll put to the side. Wow, there's a Prada pouch. There's a Prada manual, just like everything else that comes from Prada. Activation instructions, care instructions. Okay, really high quality. This is Prada crossover with Centurion in that same. They're very consistent with their stationery. I mean, they put in a lot of work. Oh man, this is, uh, I saw it was something like like this, you, you wear it as a bangle, and uh, it says Centurion on it. Prada, made in Italy. I believe the chip is inside the actual band, and uh, this will be going to a very special someone that's helped me along this path. Mrs. Big Baby, here you go. And um, you know, a lot of YouTubers, a lot of people, they try to flex their card and this and that, but for me, this was a progression, a journey of 20 years. I can, you know, say that I'm in that very limited circle. I think uh, Oprah has one, Mark Cuban has one, Beyonce has one, Kim Kardashian has one. Thankfully, I didn't need to make a porn tape with Ray J or marry an anti-Semitic, you know, has-been rapper. Anyways, that's, uh... This is the card. This is this is something. This is a, a moment for me that, like I said, started in 2003. It's 2023. I was okay to wait until, or keep grinding until 2030. I really did sacrifice a lot to get to where I am. Not just to get the card, but to get to where I am financially and career-wise, including taking hits to my health including, you know, never taking shortcuts even when they were available to me, including sometimes just being stubborn, putting my head down, and um, making the long, long-term plays and thinking about the long game. So I appreciate everybody that supported me. I appreciate the people in the TCG community that always have my back. Some don't. I appreciate the haters as well, because uh, I've had haters all my life, ever since being just this kid from out of town trying to fit into the streets of Queens. And I'll never forget what that feels like and I'll never forget what it means to grind and have to work two, three, four times as hard to get to the same place that, you know, some Instagram influencer can by laying down and letting Ray J, you know, bang him half-assedly. Anyways, just saying, on the bright side, America's such a great place to be able to have hit zero a couple times in, in my life, have needed to literally play video games, my wife and I, you know, grind Dave and Busters just to pay the bills, just to put food on the table when times were really tough and we were really deep in debt. Now it's just handfuls, five, six, seven years ago. America's a great place. God is great. And uh, life is a gift. Some people don't see it that way, but life is a gift. I wanna close it out with a very, uh, very wise saying from uh, Master Uguay. He said that uh, yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, but um, today is a gift. That's why they call it the present. So I know it's cheesy, but I hope you guys appreciate this. I appreciate all the viewers. I appreciate all the support. And I appreciate even all the struggle that uh, got me here. So. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting Fabled Hunters. Hope you liked the episode. Take care, guys. Bye. See you, big baby. Are you 
sure you got enough dessert? <laughs>